There is a new crazy theory out there about what is next for the Avengers franchise after Avengers Endgame. And a single shot in an international trailer for Spider-Man Far From Home last night heavily implied that this theory may well be correct. It's like the news, but for nerds. Subscribe so you never miss an episode. Today's shout out goes to Paul Ewing. Indeed, it is that C-3PO guy that has been in every single Star Wars movie. We'll do another nerd card question at the end of this video. What's up everybody, happy Friday to you. I'm of course Josh, this is the Dent of Nerds and this theory is so sweet for Marvel fans. And I'm actually pretty sure that this is the way they're gonna go with the Avengers movies, pretty hype. Just last night, a new international trailer for Spider-Man Far From Home dropped and people noticed something that's well, Pretty dang crazy. Check this out in the background of this shot. This appears to be the rebuilt Avengers Tower, which has probably seen a lot of change since five years ago when it was being sold at the end of Spider-Man's first movie, which of course was Homecoming. Now, at the time when we heard that the tower was being sold by Tony, this was kind of a cool little thing. And we were wondering, okay, well, who's buying the tower? Could it be Reed Richards? Is this the introduction of the Fantastic Four? Or is this maybe Norman Osborn? And if you didn't know this, Osborn and Norman Osborn specifically is a villain that Feige has wanted in the MCU for a long, long time. The Oscorp Tower was supposed to be in the first Avengers movie and the Avengers Tower was going to show up in one of the Spider-Man movies and this was way before the current Sony Marvel Spider-Man deal. Now, several months ago, we heard that Marvel was developing a Dark Avengers script and that it was even possible that the next Avengers movie would be Dark Avengers. And at the time people were like, wow, but you'd really have to introduce Norman Osborn. Who knows how that's gonna work? exactly and they haven't done it yet but there was the mysterious character in Ant-Man and the Wasp that, you know, that one dude is actually working for. He never reveals who that is. And so there's this mysterious power, seemingly nefarious power in the MCU that is going around looking for crazy tech. Might be a little Norman Osborn there. Now, another reason people believe this, another feather in the cap of this theory, if you will, is some recent comments that Tom Holland has made. While being interviewed about the film, he said there is a part of the movie, a scene that fans will hate. And given the way he delivered that line in the context of the conversation they were having when that question was asked, we can assume this has something to do with the legacy of Tony Stark. The legacy of Tony Stark hangs over this film very heavily, and I believe just right in front of our face, it is implied that either Quentin Beck or Peter Parker could take the role of Iron Man. I mean, at one point it's implied that Peter thinks it should be Quentin Beck, and at another moment it feels like maybe he realizes it should be him, or other people think it should be him. But what if it's not either of them? What if there's this other character that's playing around in the background of the film and is eventually revealed to be Norman Osborn. And what if Norman Osborn is elected to be the new Iron Man at the end of the movie? This would be a really crazy way to end this phase, set up a weird scenario in which the Avengers are run by a villain, that there's a new Iron Man that not everyone agrees should be Iron Man. It would cause a lot of conflict for Peter Parker and a lot of the other members of the original Avengers. If you consider the fallout from Avengers End game and how much the governments of the world are going to want to arm up, get even more super powered people in charge of things in case something like that happened again, you can really run that to a logical conclusion that we could get a Dark Avengers and it would make sense. Maybe even Nick Fury would be helping them, working with them. And of course, down the line when they're revealed to be too extreme and be doing things that are villainous, you can have an uprising of the OG Avengers with people like Peter Parker and they can clash against a whole new crew of Dark Avengers. That sounds super hyped to me. And so that is the rumor and theory that is out there, guys, that Norman Osborn will be playing a role in Spider-Man Far From Home, that he is the one that bought the Avengers Tower at the end of Spider-Man Homecoming, and he is also the villain that is behind the scenes in the Ant-Man and the Wasp movie. Also, we've heard a lot of rumors about actors going in to talk to people at Marvel Studios, and some of these actors literally include Henry Cavill, The Rock, and Charlie Hunnan. Now the rumor around all of these originally was that these guys might be going in to audition for the Wolverine role, but what if they're actually going in to audition for the Norman Osborn role and they will be put into a post credit scene at the end of that film and then eventually do some big movies down the line as the Norman Osborn character. Dude, Charlie Hunnan could totally play Norman Osborn. That would be sick. But anyways, guys, that is the news out there. What do you think about this rumor? What do you think about this shot that's in the international trailer and the new Avengers Tower? Who bought that thing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Now let's check the nerd card before we get out of here. I want to know, what is the deed that Norman Osborn does in the comic books that makes the governments of the world trust him and want him to be in charge of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Answer that question in the comments section below. As I always say, 
I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and I'll see you.